Better, stronger, better. I just want to wrestle. I want to be a boxer. I want to be the first. I want to be the best. I'm going to do whatever it takes. I want to be me. Me. Definitely. Geek. <laughs> it's a word that sounds the way it feels. Awkward, lonesome, and just plain uncool. <laughs> and in a town as small as Bow, New Hampshire, once you're pegged to geek, you might as well be invisible. Unless, of course, you wear a special geek uniform. Hi! Together! That's me, 16-year-old junior, Alexa. Hey, Alexa! Hey, Jordan! What's up? That's just us being really weird. Yep, I'm a band geek, straight down to the style and uniform. This thing is like 100% polyester, or like zippers and buttons and the tuxedo shoes. Just everything makes you go, I'm a dork, to the extreme. Band people have that feathery thing. It's a reminds of a falcon. It's probably has to do with like colonial times or something. I don't even know. <laughs> Most people just don't really get us. Most of the kids that are in band are just tools. Me and my friends actually left homecoming early. We went to Walmart and we actually had an amazing time. They just do some interesting things that I would never do. No, we went to the gardening section. <laughs> oh, look at these hoses. They're just kind of their own little group. And then the hierarchy of our school, they're kind of like the bottom. Being at the bottom doesn't really help with the boys either. Would I date a band geek? Uh, no. No, no chance at all. And the only boyfriend I ever had, he always poked fun of me for being in band. Yeah. Of course, my other hobby's a little dorky, too. Let's start off with moves, okay? I'm also an aspiring opera singer. <laughs> the truth is, even among the band geeks, I'm afraid to stand out. People are like, oh, well, she's in band, huh? <laughs> but I just, I'm not really, like, noticed. I'm really self-conscious and, I don't know, a conformist, basically. I don't know, I never do anything like edgy or wild. It's weird, because when I was a kid, I was a total free spirit. <laughs> See? She's a rocker! See, when you were six, you didn't care. That's my mom. She's one of the few people who actually knows my true personality. When she was really young, she was crazy. She would try anything, and then somewhere along the line, I think she just either doubted herself or she, I don't know. I have a lot of inhibitions. Like, I think I worry way too much about what other people think. I always like to play it safe. It's always safe to be with what you know. I'm tired of bottling all my feelings up inside and not letting anyone see who I really am. I've had enough of this. I've always been so good. I've always, like, followed the rules. I've always done this. Time to get out there. That's why I decided to turn my operatic voice into an outrageous voice <laughs> and be made into a rocker chick. They have this free spirit. Like, if they are angry or they had a bad breakup, they can just write a song about it and sing it for everyone. They get to show the world how they feel and they wear their hearts on their sleeve. That would be so life-changing. It'd be amazing. It'd be, like, the best thing ever. <laughs> I think somewhere deep inside of me, there's a bad girl rocker chick waiting to come out. I just have to find it. And to show everyone that I can rock, I want to win my school's biggest musical competition, the Battle of the Bands. The Battle of the Bands is uh, absolutely huge at Bohai. All the biggest bands from around the area turn out. And then you got about 400 people in the audience. These bands are going to be doing whatever they can to win this show. They want it. But frankly, I don't think she can make it. One thing was sure, I had to raise my grades in coolness class or I'd never win the battle of the bands. Rock star is not what would come to mind when I describe her. It would take not being so uncool. <laughs> I'm gonna boo as loud as I can if she does bad. Alexis is a big Republican. Okay, well, my parents would definitely back me up. You wanna be a rocker 24 7 style? Is that what you wanna do? That's my dad. He wasn't sure about this whole rocker thing. You trying to do an image makeover here? I guess so. I don't think I'd want to see you, like, with really drastically changed hair or anything. Oh, but boy. I just want to break out of myself. Do something people won't expect, you know? You know, your number one priority is your grades. Grades, grades, grades. I bet they'd have more faith in me if I were more like my older sister, Heather. She was a really, really good student, something I'm not. She sees what her sister did in high school and thinks, oh, I have to do the same thing. It's kind of scary because there's so much like that's expected of you, I guess. But I'm more than a mini version of my sister. 
I just wish people could see that. What's on my locker? Skip marching band practice and meet me at Dead Man's Curve. Come alone. <laughs> okay, that's really scary. Me? Alone? Dead Man's Curve? Alexa? I'm Alexa. I'm Frank. Hi. I'm your maid coach. That's Frank Pino, lead singer of the band Waltham. They won the Boston Music Award for the best new band and best new song, twice. Take a ride. Frank and his band have opened for Nickelback, Three Doors Down, Puddle of Mud, and Kiss. What do you think? Um, I said rocker, not biker. What's the deal? I just like making a cool entrance. That's cool. <laughs> I knew I was way out of my element, but I had to try. I just don't want to play it safe anymore. I just want to take some risks, so I'm ready. <laughs> it's hard, though. I, I bet it is. No, no, you don't know. It's not just like, oh, jump on stage and like put on cool clothes. It's extremely hard. Okay. And you're going to want to quit. I'm going to ask you to say something. All right. And I want you to mean it. I'm a badass. I'm a badass. I'm a badass. I'm a badass. Say it to somebody that you're definitely afraid of, like this cat right over here. I am a badass. I'm a rocker in his face. I'm a rocker. I'm a badass. I'm a badass. What do you think? Oh. oh come on. You know what? I have to agree with him. What was the point of all this? If you were a rocker. If you were a badass, and people would treat you like that. If you walk around and say it, and you don't mean it, and you don't live it, people are gonna think you're a joke. I got something for you, okay? What the heck? This right here is gonna be able to help you out a little bit. I was still feeling more Olsen twin than badass, so Frank thought we should hit the road. You know why these guys are badasses? Because they're confident in what they do. I'm a badass! Woo! This was kind of cool. Looks like there's a bunch of people just standing around with bikes. And Alexa? I'm gonna go back to your house, go no, meet I your folks. No, I gotta go to Spanish class first. Spanish class? Yeah, Spanish class. All right. Okay. Let's go. All right. All of us. Hola, señora. ¿Cómo estás? Bienvenido, bienvenidos, todos. ¿Qué será? Yo soy profesor de ella. Yo voy a enseñar a ella a ser un badass. La clase estaba loca. Soy un badass. I really don't believe you can be badass. I just don't. I'll, I'm going to prove you wrong. <laughs> we'll see. Let's go, guys. Let's go. So my Spanish teacher had no faith in me. Hopefully things at home would be better. Oh, my God. The neighborhood will never be the same. Hi, Alexa's mom. Hi. I'm Frank. Luckily, my mom really knows how to host. <laughs> yeah, just help yourselves. So while the bikers enjoyed some of my mom's world-famous chocolate chip cookies, Frank and I went to check out my room. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is out of control. Do you, all your friends have rooms like this? Yeah, actually. I need something sharp or I'm going to break something that, oh, oh. Before I knew what was happening. Are you kidding me? My room went to pieces. Oh, my God, no. This is a symbol that your approach isn't going to work if you get caught in the mesh. You don't Thank need this you. anymore, OK? The reason why I'm tough on Alexa, I'm being tough on her because I want to see what she's made of. Hey, girl, hold on my gun, will you? Right. She seems like a good girl that pretty much does everything she's told. And I want her to push back. This better. This OK, the fuel. Okay. okay. The fuel for songwriting are your daily feelings. There's a sharper. Okay? I need you to fill all this in every day, and you have to fill up your tank. I was writing on my wall. What nutcase writes their journal on their wall? That is my first fuel. I think people at my school are really fake. That's good fuel. Most music is really written on sorrow and pain and all that sort of stuff. I want to hear one of your songs. Do you have one of your songs? 
I actually don't have anything right now. Nothing. I have it written down, but it's not like here. I don't know where it is. <laughs> I mean, we don't have much time here. You don't have a band in place. No, it's Battle of the Band, so I need a band. Do you think that's like an easy thing to achieve? No. Hold on to my gun, will you? Here's the goal. Okay. Okay? You're gonna write a song. You're gonna put together a band. Okay. You're gonna go into the battle of the bands. Uh huh. You're gonna climb up on stage. And you're gonna win. Okay. Sounds easy, doesn't it? Not really. <laughs> Good. Well, it's a, one of the smarter things that you said today. Then Frank brought in a few treats to help me look the part. Oh, that's so edgy. That's it's so not. Much, look that's at that. So much cooler than like anything I wear. Now I'm pink. You're okay with me wearing pink? Yeah, as long as it says death on the back. <laughs> okay. You just don't go over and write a song. You just don't get up on stage and pack a house. You just don't do that. I'm full of so much determination. And like the more people that say I can't do it, the more I want to do it. So. Bring it on. I'm like so ready. Later on, Frank wanted me to check out his band. These guys could really rock. After the show, Frank wanted to chat. You witness me up on stage, I speak my mind. So, so will you. I need you to write down five things. Five personal, personal, deep things, all right, that okay. you've never told a soul. And when you go to school, I want you to stand in front of the class and want you to tell those five things to your classmates. Okay. This is gonna, this is gonna prove to me that you got at okay. least a little bit of what it takes. This was not going to be fun. Be good. Get I will. All right, see ya. Don't cheat. The next day in World Studies, it was time to face the music. What's happening? Nothing. Nice shirt. <laughs> what, go now? Yeah, now, right now. Hi, I have something I need to do. OK, well, I'm about to share with you five really personal things I've never told anyone before. And I'm really scared. First. I'm really jealous of my sister. Second, <laughs> I'd do anything not to be like my sister. Third, I resent the fact that my friends are more successful than I am. <laughs> Four, I don't think that I'll ever find love again. And five, I'm terrified of failing life. <laughs> I thought you'd take good. Thanks. It's all about, like, just saying everything, saying what you feel, saying what you're about. But, like, now that you had the floor and that everything was flowing, you left out some really important stuff. I think people at my school are really fake. I want you to tell everybody that you think that there's a lot of people here that are fake and that there's a lot of people there that piss you off. I'm going to start crying again. you got to bleed a little bit. This is my new best friend. You get A's and B's, and that's still really good. I guess we can leave this there. Yeah, you're going to go backstage, honey. I actually have no idea what key this is in. I don't even know what chords I'm using. My band's, like, falling apart. This is absolutely horrible. I want to be made. Rainbow socks, armbands, suspenders, necklace. Being very, very prideful. My name is Aiden, and I have two moms. Fitting in is a struggle for any teen, but for teens with gay parents, fitting in takes on a new meaning. Growing up with two moms was kind of difficult because you are expected to fit a norm. Well, I never fit that. A lot of people thought when you come from a gay family, doesn't that make you turn gay? But I'm not. True Life, I Have Gay Parents, Thursday at 10. Hi, I'm Vanessa Williams. Why are some of the biggest stars in the world speaking out for an acne product? The answer may surprise you. People expect someone who is an actress or a model to be flawless. And so here you wake up in the morning and you see what you really look like and you think, oh no, that's not what I'm supposed to look like. <laughs>
I mean, I developed acne later in life, which is really different. So my makeup artist mentioned Proactive to me and said, have I tried the plan? Have I tried using it? And was just so amazed that Proactive worked as quickly as it did and as consistently as it did. Created by two leading dermatologists, Proactive Solution contains powerful medicines that work together as a system to deliver incredible skin clearing results. Proactive can make you look good. It can help you feel good about yourself. Proactive is ready to prove it by sending you a full 30-day kit for the low price of only $19.95. Proactive combines multiple medications with soothing spa quality botanicals to create a powerful acne fighting system. You can heal acne today and prevent outbreaks tomorrow. Order now and receive two free gifts. The amazing refining mask plus the booklet Face the Facts. My face cleared up honestly within I want to say two days. Proactive is the best-selling topical acne system in America, named Best Acne Treatment by Allure Magazine. There are so many other issues in life to be worried about. It is so nice to know that skin is not going to be one of them because of Proactive. My face cleared up within like two and a half weeks. I saw results and I was like, yes, yes. You do have beautiful skin under your acne. Let Proactive prove it. Call 1-800-365-5914. Let Proactive be the best and last acne product you'll ever try. Call now. What are you setting your sights on? And when you see it, will you be ready? Just pick up the phone, dial 1-800-645-ARMY, and you'll get this free DVD. You'll learn about the hundreds of opportunities the Army can offer you. Skills, education, health care. Call 1-800-645-ARMY and you'll also get this free boonie hat. Whatever you're looking for, the Army can help you find it. The diamond, the hardwood, the gridiron, the ice, and everything in between. I'm at Berliner. Join me for the fastest 60 minutes in sports, CNA Sports Pulse, where I'll take you inside the game. You'll see the big plays, hear the big interviews, and get the big story on and off the playing surface. CN8 Sports Pulse, built for New England. Built at the speed of sport. Sports Pulse with New England's own Ed Verliner. Weeknights, 10 Eastern on CN8. Waiting online long in there? A while. Let me see what you got. What if I told you you could get these same exact titles without ever having to leave your house? How? You have Comcast Digital Cable? Yes. And you've got On Demand. You pick a movie, you play it whenever, the titles you want are always in stock, and you never have to wait in line like in there. <laughs> well, that actually sounds great. Yeah, it does. Video store? You've got On Demand with Comcast Digital Cable. I'll All give right. it a try. Let the madness begin. Don't miss the brand new fanatical show, My Own, where obsessive fans attempt to find their very own version of their favorite superstar. I'm a stalker. MTV Afternoons are all new and all you. My Own, weekdays at 6. I want to be made. Made. It's on. <laughs> I only had four weeks until Battle of the Bands, and I needed to turn into a rocker fast. I'm a dork to the extreme. My coach Frank seemed to only care about bullhorns and graffiti. The fuel. He already brought me to the brink of an emotional breakdown. I'm terrified of failing life. And he still wasn't satisfied. I want you to do it again, and then I want you to say the last two things. I want you to tell everybody that you think that there's a lot of people here that are fake, and that there's a lot of people there that piss you off. Why on earth was he making me do this again? Um, basically, I don't think I'll ever find love again. Five, I'm terrified of failing life. And six and seven. This part was gonna be tough. I really dislike most people at school because I think you're all really, really fake. And that's all I have to say. I'm so proud of you. I love you. That's my best friend, Sarah. I knew she wouldn't turn on me. I wonder if they realized, wow, she's not faking this. But I didn't know how the other kids would react. I just thought it was really cool because she really got to speak her mind. It took a lot of courage to get up there and tell everyone that. I know there's a majority of people who agree with her, and I'm one of those people. It's a kind of relief. It's over with. I did it. I accomplished something. But even though I felt good, I didn't understand what any of this had to do with winning Battle of the Bands. I thought it was very cool of you to do that even though you felt really nervous. You moved a lot of people, you know? 
You gotta be able to like lay it out for everyone to see. And people are gonna spit on it, but people are gonna praise it. And the people that praise it, those are your fans. The next night, Frank asked me to meet him at his tattoo parlor for a little surprise. Hi, Frank. You ready to get a tattoo? Huh? What? Okay, he was kidding, but he still had a surprise for me. My new best friend! <laughs> there was just one problem. <laughs> I need to work on that. Unfortunately, it would take more than a guitar to win Battle of the Bands. We have to assemble a band. Okay. Immediately. You gotta pick up the best of the best. And no matter what, by the end of this week, you're gonna have a band. That weekend, you wouldn't believe who came to town. I'm majoring in chemical and biomolecular engineering. Yep, that's my sister Heather stealing the spotlight as usual. In our Excel and Tissue class, we have groups of four and we're working on developing follicles. Didn't anyone care about what I was doing? It's crazy. I'm like on the exec board for most of my clubs. And you were band captain? Yeah. God, what didn't you do? She's light years ahead of me, and I'm never going to be as good as she was. You're the one with the straight A's. I did not have straight A's. You're the one who got like a one B in high school and cried about it. I didn't cry about yeah, it. Yeah, I did. did. When Heather's in town, it's like my parents forget I exist. I try really, really hard, but I just, I know it like doesn't matter. You get A's and B's, and that's still really good. It gets to a point where I get really frustrated, and I get really down on myself because I know nothing I do is gonna like make up the ground that's between us. Battle of the Bands was approaching quickly, and Frank wanted me to see what I was up against. So why are you here exactly? I want to check out the competition, I guess. <laughs> the first band up was Sonus. <laughs> Next up, Regret Me Not. These guys had been practicing for weeks. How could I ever compete with them? You seem very solid. You seem like you know exactly what you're doing. But I had no idea what I was doing, especially since I didn't even have a song yet. Wow, that really does suck. This is really good. It's coming together, man. I had a basic idea for a tune, so Frank came over to help. In order to come up with like a melody or whatever, I go and listen to something that my mood is asking for. It just kind of sparks inspiration, you know what I mean? Yeah. I can see that you listen to some indie yeah. stuff, obviously, but there's some straight up the middle stuff. Liz Fair? Mm -hmm. I don't know much about Liz Fair, but you obviously dig her. Yeah, like yeah. her songs are so straightforward, you know yeah. exactly what she's talking about. And she does it in like a catchy, kind of infectious manner, and it's just so cool. Use her. Whatever locks into your head as far as the overall mood and the melody, apply it to, to your words. That's your assignment. Thank you. I wish I had assignments like this when I was younger. Then it was time for my first performance. Sort of. A train wreck, a calamity. Why does this feel so new to me? I could have sworn I've been here before. Am I on the edge of something more? Aftermath, so sublime. Flash a smile, yes, I'm fine. Lying through my teeth, but what's it to you? You don't listen enough to distinguish what is true. See, that right there was to the point. You really liked it? I wouldn't touch that song at all. And then the fun came to an end. What's that song about? I can't tell you. I'm sorry. I can't do it. In order for them to get your tune, you have to kind of reveal what it's about. Sorry, but I can't. You and just aren't going to tell no. me? No. I'm sorry. I'm not going to yield on this. It wouldn't just hurt me. It would hurt so many other people. That's the fuel. That's what we've been talking about, man. Stepping into a place that's really dark, man, scary. A place where you may stand alone. The song is fine, and it doesn't need, like, the details. In order for it to have impact, you got to bleed a little bit. We have to talk about this. It's a decision. We start with either this song, or we start a new one. We move forward, and then we don't turn back. The first musician, please. Big star next to her name. Hi. Hi. I'm Alexa. She keep looking off. That's lack of commitment. Can we write down the chord changes? I actually have no idea what key this is in. Oh, me. Me. It's mine. <laughs>
It's finally come to this. Do you guys have an alliance? What? I don't know. It's a conspiracy. No. no. I don't know if they think I have an alliance with other team or something. Just to know that, like, somebody's even considering forming an alliance, I don't, it just, it, it, it sucks. I was so f***ing fired up. I so wanted to push that f***ing truck today. I believe not one word that is coming out of Kara or Susie's mouth. I am absolutely blindsided. It's totally now it's getting juicy. An all-new Gauntlet 2, tonight at 10. Then Tyrese Gibson and James Franco go pound for pound as naval cadets in an exclusive sneak peek of the movie Annapolis. Want to hit me, Hewitt? <laughs> tonight at 11. The time has come. The evolution complete. Access granted. And the future is about to begin. Introducing the all-new Big Arrive 4. With an EPA estimated 30 miles per gallon, it can handle anything, no matter what gas prices might do. Hey, aren't you any of the klepto? No, I don't do that anymore. But you just took my starburst. No, I didn't. Oh, I thought you did. I gotta go. People everywhere are discovering Rembrandt whitening strips. The only strip that form fits and whitens fast in just five days. Fast, easy whitening. Rembrandt whitening strips. A whole new world of white. Ready to take serious action against wrinkles? Wrinkle Decrease Collagen Filler from L'Oreal. The targeted anti-wrinkle treatment. The silicone formula fills in wrinkles on the surface. Collagen biospheres fill wrinkles from within. Instantly, wrinkles are softened by 20%. Wrinkle Decrease Collagen Filler. I'm doing the Bally 30-day program because when I look in the mirror, I see somebody who's gotten really heavy. Like the flat stomach definition in my arms. Get the results you want. Join Bally Total Fitness now for no money to start and get a free personal training session. Here we are, it's day 30. I feel amazing. I lost 14 pounds, went down a size and a half. It's great. In fact, I think I'm getting a little mirror happy. <laughs> Hurry, it's the last week to get last year's rates. Meet your potential. Call 1-800-FITNESS for the club nearest you. As technology advances, the world is booming with new challenges, but also with new opportunities. The field of criminal justice has benefited from many advances in technology, and new jobs are emerging. The new ITT Tech School of Criminal Justice. At ITT Tech, you can now earn a bachelor's in criminal justice. We teach the fundamentals of the criminal justice system and can help you develop the skills to respond to and prevent crime. The world of opportunities is yours to explore. At ITT Tech, we know that while technology presents new and exciting possibilities every day, it's the people behind it who matter most. ITT Technical Institute School of Criminal Justice, education for the future. To find out more, call 1-800-942-0099 or visit us on the web. Between my two phone bills, it's probably about $60 a month. About $150. Probably 100 bucks a month. With Vonage, you get unlimited calls to anywhere in the U.S. and Canada, and all the cool features you could ever want are included. And it's just $24.99 a month. Call 1-800-972-4866 and get your first month free. This offer is also available online. Vonage, leading the internet phone revolution. I want to be the first. I want to be the best. I want to be made. Me. So my maid coach not only got me a guitar, he was actually teaching me how to play. Up and down the deck. The problem was, Frank wasn't going to let me use my song unless I told him what it was about. We start with either this song or we start a new one. We move forward and then we don't turn back. As a friend in training, I ask for you to tell me what this tune's about. I'm gonna tell you, not because you're asking me, but because I wanna sing this song and I know if I don't tell you, it's just gonna go in the trash. And I don't wanna waste this. Go ahead then. 
Okay, so one of my friends, ex-boyfriends, got together with me. He used me to get closer to my other best friend, and then he ditched me for her. He just kind of dumped me in one of the worst ways possible. He just told me he found someone else. It just made me feel like, what did I do wrong? Just the way he did it made me feel like complete trash. Does it make you feel like you're over it when you read it? It brings me back to the place where I was so upset and so hurt. Every time I sing this, it's going to be like that. Can you sing something to me? Yeah. A train wreck, a calamity. Why does this feel so new to me? Could have sworn I've been here before. Am I on the edge of something more? You got a good sounding voice. Thank you. I had been singing opera most of my life. You opened up to me about this tune. Thank you so much for doing it. Okay. I wanted to set you up with something. All right. Okay. You're gonna go to a show. Really? And you're gonna go meet your idol. I get to go meet Liz Fair. Yeah, you're gonna go backstage, honey. You're gonna go backstage. Oh my God, yeah. Are you for gonna... real? Yeah. Oh yeah. Before I could think about Liz Fair, I had to get auditions going. It's gonna be really rough on her because most of the bands have been together forever. I think a very small number of people are going to show up. I don't know if it's going to work out or not. I can only hope. With my flyers posted, all I could do was hope for the best. When auditions came around, I was so nervous. Would anyone actually show up? Can we have the first musician, please? Hello? Two, three, four. What kind of previous musical experience do you have? I've been playing bass for six years now. I originated in school bands back in the day. I play 16 instruments. All I do is drum, and I'm in the marching band with you. OK, so show me what you got. Sax is pretty, it's pretty rock. I have created a monster. Yes, you have. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Becca. That's Becca. We're super tight. I have played with like a band before, but I don't think I've showed all I can do, and I think I can back you up. All right, so why don't you go and jam out for us? Okay. She kicks ass. Big star next to her name. What up, girl? Frank said I had to have a band by the end of the week. It was D-Day. I could only take three of you guys. So I have Joey on guitar, Jordan on bass, and Becca on drums. I love you, Alexa. And Kevin on saxophone. <laughs> I cheated the system, man. <laughs> wow, I had a band. Kevin, the sultan of the sax. Jordan, the beast of the bass. Becca, the titan of the tom-toms. And Joey, the guitar guru. Lex, come here for a sec. I gotta talk to you. Okay. You're trying to put together a band. There's gotta be this sort of like a dedication to the cause. The members of my group left the groups that they were in or were free agents. So basically, I should tell the people in my band to quit the other bands they're in. That insures it. I mean, there's insurance that... And they're not going to. They're going to quit my band. So it's going to be me and a drummer. You sure about that? Why was Frank trying to ruin my band? All right, since there are so many time constraints, I have to ask you... I trusted Frank, but I had to do this my way. If I let you stay in your other bands, Will you dedicate as much time and commitment to my band? I need to know if you're serious about this. I think it can definitely work. I'll give you all that I have and more. I'm really excited to work with you guys. Now I was off to see my idol, Liz Fair. How are you guys doing? Then I got to meet her. Hi. Hi. I'm Alexa. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Oh, this is kind of a brave thing you're doing. I never would have had the guts to do this in high school. Never. Really? Yeah, I was very shy. I'm shy, too. So what would you most like to show people on stage? I don't know. Like, being a rocker, just have such a free spirit. And, you know, you're not afraid to tell people, like, how you feel. But I noticed okay. that you have this little habit. 
You're talking to me, but you keep looking off. That's lack of commitment. Being a rocker, it's all going to be about directly confronting people when you're talking to them. I was already embarrassed, but I couldn't believe what Liz asked next. If you've got, like, something to sing, go for wow. it. Wow. All right. <laughs> A train wreck, a calamity. Why does this feel so new to me? You're running away. There you, there you go. You're distant, you're gone. Don't try and tell me I'm the one that's wrong. I love that. Can I see the lyrics? Yeah. yeah, go for you it. You got a really cool melody. Wow. She loved the song. Don't kill yourself if you stand out there the first second. Knees knocking. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It's all about getting this song to come to life. And you're fully capable of doing that. Thank you. Her advice was invaluable to me. Now, all I wanted to do was play guitar. <laughs> that is so loud. OK, sorry. You want us to go deaf? had a band and an awesome rehearsal space. So this is my dad's music room. Oh my god. This is so cool. Becca's dad owns a local radio station and has tons of rock memorabilia. I've never seen anything like this. But even with all this cool stuff, we still needed a name. The Denim Heart. Custard inmate. No. <laughs> about band space Anna. Band Anna. <laughs> then it finally hit me. It's kind of cheesy, but I was just like thinking about it. Being here today and like practicing, I think we can put up a fair fight. I think fair fight is the best idea that we've had yet. Any objections? So fair fight it was. Fair fight! I was really nervous to play my song for my bandmates. This is the song that I'm working on. <laughs> Are you ready? You're running away. Well, they weren't booing yet. What do you guys think? I'm looking forward to working on it. I'm just really excited to see like what everyone else does now to add to it. Can we write down the chord changes and stuff? Because I think that helps yeah. Jordan uh, and Kevin. I actually have no idea what key this is in. I don't even know what chords I'm using yet. I am going to fail also if we all fail. And I have no intentions of failing. My band's like falling apart. We have to rehearse today. We can't not rehearse. This is absolutely horrible. I want to be amazed. Me. Similarly, he wears pastel color decorative woodwork, distinctive iron balustrades, and other architectural. You know what else is kind of weird, bro? What's that? Somebody jacked all my boxers. The unusual passage of Victorian styling and I'm sorry, John, stop me. No, it does suck. Key West architecture. The real world Key West, truly a wonder of the world. Season premiere, Tuesday, February 28th at 10. Lashes too intense for the shy. Intense XXL by Maybelline New York. Two steps of microfiber lengthened to the max. Now built 10 times the volume. X-rated lashes. Get it on. Intense XXL. We're a pretty tight group here. That doesn't happen overnight. People have to learn that they can count on you. You know what I mean? All the power! Yes, sir, I do. See how Army training gives you strength for now, strength for later at GoArmy.com. When you're little, mistakes have cute names like oops, whoops, and boo-boo. Now, make a mistake on your taxes, and oops and whoops become fines and penalties. But when you come to H&R Block, you don't have to worry. We guarantee our work. If we make any mistakes, we'll pay the penalties. That way, your little oops never becomes a major uh-oh. Guaranteed accurate tax preparation from H&R Block in your corner. Now get boneless wings at KFC's Flavor Station. 100% breast meat boneless wings dipped any way you want. Choose from our classic honey barbecue sauce, fiery buffalo, or sweet and spicy. Try six boneless wings for $2.99 or $18 for $8.79. Be the boss, choose your sauce only at KFC. 
The U.S. Department of Labor Statistics projects that in the next year, there will be over one million new jobs in some of the fastest growing fields. With Penn Foster Career School, the nation's largest accredited school of independent home study, you could train for one of these jobs at home any time of the day or night in as little as six months. Choose from any one of these programs, medical office assistant, medical transcriptionist, pharmacy technician, medical coding and billing, child daycare, teacher aid, paralegal, home inspection, motorcycle repair, auto repair, electrician, fitness and nutrition, physical therapy aid, veterinary assistant, interior decorating, or your high school diploma, or earn your specialized associate degree. You can major in business management or accounting. Study online, in print, or a combination of both. You decide. An expert faculty and staff are just a call or email away. You could be working toward a new career in minutes. The call is free and there's no obligation. Call 1-800-562-0146 or visit us online. Ask about our special savings offer. That's 1-800-562-0146. Call now. You're driving along. A car pulls in front of you. Another pulls alongside. And when the guy up front stops short, you rear end him. Just like he wanted. It's called a swoop and squat. And fraud like this can add hundreds of dollars a year to your insurance bills. It's why Allstate has a dedicated fraud team to track down criminals. Fighting fraud is just one of the ways Allstate helps keep your costs down. Another is accident forgiveness and it starts the day you sign up. With accident forgiveness from Allstate, your rates won't go up just because of an accident, even if it's your fault. So you'll worry less about filing a claim. Does your current car insurance offer this protection? Call toll-free 1-866-934-8700 for a free quote. Find out how with Allstate, your rates don't have to go up just because of an accident. Why wait for your current policy to expire? Call now and switch. It's easy. Are you in good hands? I just want to be noticed. I want to be me. Definitely. This is so cool. After forming my band and finally coming up with a name, I realized that actually sounding good was a whole different story. That was my fault. Frank hadn't heard me play my song yet, and he wanted to make sure I was on the right track. Can't get up if you're pulling me down. Once I'm down, you're off and running. There's some spots in here and stuff I think you can actually repeat. Which uh, yeah. which was the... Um, it's there you go. And then do it again. There you go. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Like, That's a really good idea. Yeah, just so yeah. people can like latch onto it. That's the one thing you want to do is make sure and stuff that people have something that they can participate with. Yeah. <laughs> I'm psyched, man. I'm proud. Wow, thanks. No, no, no. I'm like, seriously, it's good. It's good. Thanks. I'm really psyched. Frank was so excited about my song, he actually asked me for advice. Would you prefer me to spend money on my pants or on my hair? You could tell me what to do. Go by, I don't know, I don't know. I tell you to stop doing crap to your hair. Mm -hmm. Just like get it cut like a normal person. Or, and I, And I just know. fit in and, and just get blended no, in and not, nobody be able to no, tell no, that. No, 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 no. Cause like, your pants make you stand out. Your hair makes you stand out. Both of them, it's just kind of like, God, do either the hair or the pants. Don't do both. You watch yourself, kiddo. I'm watching. I'm watching myself. <laughs> yeah, I just want to let you know that Frank is going to be here today. And so I just wanted to make sure it sounds like pretty good. Do you just want to practice it one more time? I think I like it. My band was confident, but they didn't know Frank. If he wasn't happy, we were in trouble. We still don't get that pause. We still All right. Where are we at with this? We're playing the song as a band. Yeah? Yeah. I'd like to hear the tune. All right. <laughs> it's like an important song, like to you anyway. There's no spots from what I've heard so far for the lyric. The dynamics in the tune right now, it's like, uh... It'd be really sucky if people couldn't hear what you were saying because the music didn't give you the space to do it. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Let me just hear exactly how the okay. how the verse goes again. Wait a second. You see how there's like all big sort of splashy chords? I think it'd be really cool if it was like... I totally get you. Okay, try that. <laughs> I thought we sounded okay, but Frank disagreed. 
the way you had it was just like a skeleton to something that, you know, has to become something else. You're gonna have to run this because they don't know. It's your tune. I am going to fail also if we all fail, okay? And I have no intentions of failing. I really wanted to practice more, but I had to go apple picking with my family. My whole family. Please don't climb. We want everybody to have a good, safe day. You ready? I just couldn't get into the family fun. Ah, ready? Good one. Good one. No. Yeah, Heather's the tall one. She can do it. Way down there, I'm way up here. You get it? Are you Wait, let's do a little. I got it. I got it. <laughs> All right. I think what you're doing is really awesome. You have your own band finally, which you've always been talking about. So. I know. You're gonna make it. I know that. You think so? Yeah. You can, you can definitely do That's that. That's good. As long as you believe in me. Of course I do. That's good. I know you can do it. <laughs> Maybe I'm a little too hard on her. She's not so bad. Then I got a rock and roll reality check. Oh my god. I just got a ton of messages from Joey. Oh my god. Alexa, I'm really, really, really sorry, but I can't deal with Jordan anymore. We can't have practice today. Basically, my band's like falling apart. Wow, I didn't think any of that was serious. I feel like we're not in tune. We should blah, 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 blah. I'm not even going to listen to you, Jordan. Do you have something to say, Joey? We have to rehearse today. We can't not rehearse. Hello? Hey, Joey, it's me. Hi. Is there any way we can rehearse today? Like, any way at all? I'm so sorry. I don't see how this is going to work today. I, I just think there's so much stuff that's like happening with you, Jordan, that you don't know about. And he's so insulting to me. This is horrible, Joey. Like, this is absolutely horrible. It's hurting the band. And, like, it hurts me because I thought I could trust you guys to, like, do this for me. Like, this is my goal. This is what I've, like, been hoping for for, like, so many weeks now. It gotta end big. The ending of Teeny Tiny sucks. Five minutes, you guys. You guys are up. I'm gonna do whatever it takes. I really want this. I want the whole world to love me. I wanna be me. <gasps> Tonight, on an all-new There and Back, Tiff's pregnant, but everyone's hormones are out of control. Why aren't you picking up your phone? You're too far pregnant. This is ridiculous. Uh-oh. If she calls, tell her I'm pissed, because I'm out in the car trying to find her right now, and I, I my stomach is in knots. Tiffany's not in the house. I've been driving all over the city. She's not here. Is everything ever going to be back the way it was before? I don't want to be pregnant anymore. Why? On an all-new There and Back, tonight at 10.30. The ballads are back. And now they're bigger and better than ever. It's Monster Ballads Platinum Edition. The 32 hugest power ballad hits of all time on two unbelievable CDs. You can't get this incredible two CD collection in any store. Monster Ballads Platinum Edition is gonna take you higher with more megastars, more hits, and more hair than ever before. When the children cry, let them know we try. Don't miss this opportunity to feel the power of platinum. Order this awesome collection online at musicspace.com. Monster Ballads Platinum Edition is packed with pure hits from the legendary artists who taught us how to love. Call or log on and get in on the action. Don't wait. Order this collection by Rush Delivery now. Can't get this two CD collection in any store. I'm smiling next to you in silent lucidity. Get Monster Ballads Platinum Edition now, because every bad boy still has his soft side. To order, call the number on your screen or log on to musicspace.com. Rush delivery available. Do it now. It's awesome!
What's a medical assistant? A medical assistant works in a hospital or clinic assisting doctors and helping patients. What kinds of things do medical assistants do? They examine patients, update medical charts, offer support, and more. Where can I start career training as a medical assistant? At Gibbs. Call Gibbs right now for a free brochure at 1-877-660-3276. That's 1-877-660-3276. Call now. The mother of all comedies Ooh. is back. Break it down, break it down. This Friday, she's bigger. <laughs> and bolder than ever. This mama, you stole my man. My mama raised a lady. She raised a heifer. Damn. Big Mama's House 2. That putting stank on it. Rated PG-13. Friday only in theaters. I want to be a musician. I'd like to be in politics. I want to be an actor on Broadway. The lawyer. I want to be a fashion designer. I want to better myself in life. I don't, I don't want to be stuck in the same place I'm in. If you want to do things with your life, then you definitely need to have a goal or a plan. I want to study hard, that way I can get into a college, get something that I can put on my resume, get something that will better me for the future of my life. Education is the key, and that's what's opening doors for success. The bands was just a few days away, and just when Fair Fight was starting to sound good, things took a turn for the worse. I don't see how this is gonna work. This is horrible, Joey. What is going on? My band is self destructing. Joey and Jordan have been kind of tense. Joey was refusing to work with him. Guys, guys, guys. Jordan and Joey had to work it out if we had any chance of practicing again. The whole thing about Joey really, it like, it makes me really worried. I hope he's okay. He wants to talk to Alexa. Joey? Is everything okay? I wanted Jordan to apologize. Joey, I said some mean things to Joseph earlier. I feel really bad about everything that happened to I regret doing that. I'm sorry. I love you, man. It's just gonna be good to see you with us again, you know? Joey and Jordan had settled their differences, but I was still worried that we weren't going to be ready. We really don't have much time left. We have to stay kind of focused today because we have a lot to do. Teenage Calamity, let's go. Everyone stayed on task, everyone was focused. I have full confidence in my band. Now that my band was sounding good, Frank thought it was time for a little rocker fashion upgrade. Hi. Hi. Where are you guys from? That's Sandy, hair cutter to the stars and a creative mastermind with the shears. Take your hair out, let's see. Come on, shake it. Let's see what you got. <laughs> oh, no. Apple Levine, eat your heart out. Wow. <laughs> How does it look? It's gorgeous. Oh, my God. I've never had a haircut like this. It's so hot. You guys ready to go buy some clothes? Did someone say shopping? Oh, wow. This is where it's at. Oh, my God. OK. Do you want to count us off? Yeah. We held our final practice on the big stage at school. But Frank was on to something, and it wasn't good. No pun intended. It's a calamity at the end of the song for some reason. It gotta end big. The ending of Teenage Calamity sucks. No one ever comes in at the right time. I couldn't believe it. The moment had finally arrived, the Battle of the Bands. Everyone was at the show, even a few special guests. Yes, we did. Even my sister came back to see me. Oh, it's okay, Mom. I hope she doesn't suck. Your first show when you play into a sold-out room? Like, who the hell can say that? Do whatever you gotta do with somebody. Hey, it's not on our show. We're gonna start with saunas. Just hearing the other bands was making me sweat. Five minutes, you guys. My head was spinning. I needed to gather my thoughts. You gotta be able to, like, lay out 
for everyone to see. It's all about getting the song to come to life. Step into a place where you may stand alone, alone, alone. You guys, you guys, come here. Just so we're off to are like the third verse at the end, it's just me. That's the deal, okay? I think it'd be pretty cool, but you just have to make sure everything is balanced. But don't do it like this. You guys are up. In my band, I was the star, and it felt great. Did what she wanted to do without caring what anybody thought about her, and it was great. You're a badass now, baby. Good man, Thanks. you're really good. Thanks. You guys are really good. I can't believe Lex. So you can't help but be overwhelmed by it. Frank and I are going to stay friends after this. Having like you as a coach, it's really changed who I am, like completely. I was so busy like conforming and just doing everything everyone told me, and you just came in here and you shook like everything up. I know you think you were really hard on me, but. It's because of that that I changed. You've been like the best coach I could have ever asked for. So, thank you, Frank. Wow. You're welcome, yeah. man. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh yeah, you're probably wondering how he did. Okay, we came in second place. But in my eyes, we're the champions. know if Alexa kept up the rockin' once the cameras shut down? Find out on Life After Made on MTV.com's new broadband video channel, Overdrive.